Hello again. This is episode three, if I am keeping count correctly, in the Steam Deck to Windows 11 uh, guide. I'm shortening the name each video. Um, it's quite a mouthful, the full one. So today I'm going to talk about an Im important thing that you'll need to do on these devices that you won't have had to do on the uh, Steam Deck, and that is changing resolutions. So I'm going to show you how you would change the resolutions in two ways. One is using the software that, are on, uh, that is available on this device, and the other is how to do it in Windows. And there, there'll be circumstances where you need to do one versus the other, and I'll explain that further. So what I'll do is um, I'll come out of this. Let me just minimize that. So on the ROG Ally, uh, the first way is to pop up the command center with the, the little right arrow um, symbol on the left-hand side of the machine. And hopefully by default, you should have FHD resolution um, in your options. So um, to change resolution, um, at the moment it's at 1080p, but say the game that I wanted to play doesn't perform well at 1080p, I would hit the A button and that would drop it to 720p. Uh, say it's performing really well at 720p and I feel like there's a bit more power to be had, I would turn it up to 900p. In reality, what I would actually do is I'd try it at 1080, I'd drop to 900, see if that's available, and 720 would be the last result. So that's the way you would do um, changing the resolution of the device from this command center. Now, um, the way you would do it via Windows, on the ROG Ally, um, you have to look at the control mode. So in this case, I'm in gamepad mode. So we move the blue box up onto gamepad. We press A and put it into desktop mode. And what this does, um, actually, let me just turn off this um, control panel. Uh, sorry, the overlay. So if I now go on here, this right mouse button uh, not right mouse button, right joystick, becomes like a mouse. So using your thumb, you can move it anywhere around on the screen. Um, these two bumper buttons become your left and right mouse button. So the top one, which says R2, or no, RB, is um, your left mouse button click. And the R2... Note the R trigger, they're all called different things. That becomes your right mouse click. So on you go onto the desktop, the Windows desktop, um, and if you press the right click, which is the trigger on the right, and fully depress it, you'll get this menu. So if you move down to display settings and press the, the bumper button, because it's the left click we want, you get onto display settings. And here we have display resolution. So it's set to 900p at the moment. And I can choose any of the other, um, any of the other resolutions. So it's back to keep changes. And I'm now at 1080p. And if I pop up this panel again and go down, we can see it's, it's, it knows that we're at 1080p. Um, I said you would you would have to do that for some games, um, not on this device since they added 900p as a real resolution. Originally, it was a custom resolution you had to add in yourself using a registry file. We'll cover that in a later video. Um, but now uh, Asus has adopted it as an official resolution, so you can just use the, the control panel. So it's easier on this device. So moving the ally away and bringing back in the Lenovo Legion Go. So let me just take this away again, just so we, I can, we can remind ourselves how to start it. So to set the resolution, let's press that button on uh, the top on the right controller. And we're gonna drop down to the second menu option currently. And you'll see here, we have three resolutions we can choose from. So we have 1280, 1920 by uh, 1200 and 2560 by 1600. So uh, I've stepped away, sorry. 
So um, I kind of leave it as a default on 2560 by 1600 on, on the highest setting. And that's so that all the resolutions are available in the game options when you start a game, um, if they support those resolutions. Some games, they seem to sort of detect what resolution they're in, assume there's nothing higher, and um, you'll find, find it difficult to set them. Um, I, I could be talking rubbish here. I feel like I've hit that problem before in the past, but you know, just for safety's sake, use the 2500 by uh, 2560 by 1600. Um, so, like the ROG Ally, what we have here is um, we go onto the desktop, and on this device we've got the trackpad already. So no messing about with settings to put the controller into a specific mode, and a right click is you pre you press and hold. So you basically tap hold it gives a little vibration indicating that it's, it's registered that and then the menu pops up with a, a little bit of delay there that I'm not normally used to so then we come down and again it's display settings and it's in the same place because this is Windows 11 it's all the same so here we can see that the resolution we're currently on we select the drop down now you'll see I've got some extra resolutions in here and that's um, because I've added custom resolutions uh, using a registry file um, and also there's one resolution I added um, which I, I really don't need uh, which I used a third-party tool called um, custom resolution utility which I used to add this 1080 but so this is an official one this is the uh, an official one so the 1080 1050 900 are unofficial, so you won't see them on your device at all. Um, and then you've got the 1280 by 800. So the only circumstance you're going to need to use this way of changing the resolution is really if you've added custom resolutions. And I will cover how to do that, because this is the main one I, I, I use as the custom resolution. And it's a sort of halfway house between 1200p and 800p. So if if you've got a game that doesn't quite perform as you like at, um, at 1200, but you drop it down to 800 and it performs really well, but doesn't look as nice as you want, pop it up to, to 1050 and see if it plays at that. So it just gives you more options. And I'm hoping Lenovo will add this in a similar way to how Asus did. So that's just how to modify display resolutions. And when, we, when we're sort of like going into sort of setting up games, etc., um, we'll cover sort of picking resolutions. And that concludes this video then. I hope it's been useful. Um, as always, if there's any questions you have or things you'd like covered as a Steam Deck user that, that Windows is weird and you don't understand, please leave a comment. So thank you once again for watching.